like fishing is so much fun. I know, right? We should do that more. I know. Oh, Shot, can you grab a blanket for me, are they? Okay, sure. <sighs> Sasha? Yeah? Do you remember, like, putting a suitcase in here? What? What are you talking about? <gasps> Shiloh! What is this? I found it in there! What? Put it back in! We don't know what's in there! Could this be dangerous? I don't know! I don't think it's anything bad! I think it's full of treasure, money, or gold! Wait, what are you talking about? I have a theory, Sasa. Let me tell you it. What if there was a spy on a secret mission to keep a super secret suitcase safe? He had cool spy glasses, by the way. He could also do tricks like this. Hi, uh, 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 oh, actually, never mind. Whoa, he's still a cool spy, by the way. Wait, what's that you say? It's a villain, but not just any villain. It's Miss Villain, the villain of all the villains. He had to hide the suitcase quick before Miss Villain found out. Give me the case. Never. Alright, copy then? Sure. And they never returned back ever again. And that's my theory. I highly doubt that happened. Hmm, I got a theory, Shiloh. What if? She was a model dressed from head to toe with the latest fashion. One of those deal or no deal models. A total diva. Meaning that she's very rich, hiding diamonds and gold in the suitcase. But all of a sudden, she realized she forgot her nail appointment. Oh, my nails are cute. So she rushes to hide her suitcase, never returning back. Ever again. And that's my theory. Uh... Baloney. That's not what happened. Tom, how did you get here? Oh, uh, I was here the whole time. Now, let me tell you what I think would happen. You see, I say it was a rich businessman who always looked good with his new suits that he got from Big and Tall. Yeah, he had an incredible mustache. Anyways, he had a big meeting with the President of the United States, and he didn't want this big suitcase to get in the way, so he decided to keep it safe there until he returned back. Did I mention that they were getting subs? Yeah, subs with mayo. And that's what I think what happened. That's not what happened. Oh. Ah! What did you get there? I don't know, I can't tell time. Okay, so what do you think what happened? What happened to what? The suitcase. What suitcase? The su the suitcase that was in the, the thing. What thing? That thing. That's the suitcase? Why are you even here? I don't know. Jerry? Jerry, the suitcase! How do you think it got there? Oh, the suitcase! Well, here's my theory. It's very biological. You mean diabolical? No, no biological in hide. And dogs and cats. It was a cold, rainy day, and there was a man, and he opened the suitcase, and he had a picnic! Yes, but it wasn't just any ordinary picnic, there was a earthquake! Yeah! Yeah! So he ran, he ran, and he had the suitcase, and he put it inside the, uh, a little, a little box, yeah! And then he put it in there, so it could protect his food and his picnic, yes! And then, the earthquake stopped. And he forgot that he was doing. So he went to go play Roblox. Jerry, that was so uncreative. And most likely not to happen. But guys, it doesn't matter how it got here. What matters is what's inside. I say we get a monster truck and smash it. That's gonna not work. Come on, Shiloh, we live in a modern day age. We must use technology. That was too bad. That didn't work. You and your baloney modern day technology, you gotta do it the old fashioned way. For the cash inside! That didn't work. Tom, I think it didn't work. Yeah. yeah. Hey, 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 give me some time. That was just one of my ideas. Okay, I have tons of tools that we can use. Sure. I, I have, have, have another one. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get a bigger one. 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 one.
I did. I opened what? What did I do? Well, what is it? It. It's my lunch. What? So it was you who put it in there. I did. Lunch? Are you kidding me? Joey, why didn't you tell us before? What? I I don't know. But there was no earthquake. There wasn't. No. Hmm. Oh, I just remembered. I was spinning before I started eating lunch. It was very dizzy. Well. Hi. Look under the Christmas tree to read the new Honest Kids School Days book, The Secret Santa. Shalom and his friends want to help spread Christmas cheer in their neighborhood, so they hatch a plan to be secret Santas for the kids who have less than they do. This grand scheme is going to take all their energy, creativity, and cool gadgets in order for it to happen. Join Shalom and his friends as they set out to be secret Santas. It's the perfect Christmas story. To get the book, go to Amazon.com, type in Honest Kids School Days, The Secret Santa, and there you have it. Let's take a look inside. The book is available at Amazon and other select stores. This is gonna turn out. Yeah, this is a smoothie place. But it's not non-fat though. Well, I guess it is my cheat day, so I'll have clampus swimming in a snail mixed with a caramel latte. Take out the whipped cream though, and I don't want any latte. And take out the caramel as well. And then add in some pickles in it. Then, oh no, 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 then put it at Gucci shoe. Also, don't forget, make it rain money inside of there. Then blend up finely like a fine grain of sand, and then make it fly. We only serve smoothies here, ma'am. <sighs> Fine, then give me mango smoothie. We don't have that. Okay, uh, strawberry. We don't have that. Pomegranate? We don't have that. Guava? We don't have that. Grape? No. Passion fruit? No. Lemon? No. Durian? No. Are you sure you don't have blueberries? Maybe. Actually, no. Then what do you have, son? Oh, this. Hmm. What's in this? Mango. Do you like it? Like it? Boy, I love it. What? Today's story is on the story of a boy who made the greatest smoothie in the world, or so someone claims. The ingredients inside are mangoes and some other secret ingredients that nobody knows of. Is it a new fad? Or is it just a boy who's trying to make a living? This woman bought out the whole restaurant claiming that it is the start of a new century. Meanwhile, this little boy is on the pathway to fame, being on the covers of these famous magazines. He also has a sister, but that's not important. But we want to focus on is him. Welcome back, I'm here with Child Prodigy. Shiloh. Now Shiloh, tell me, did you ever think that you would become a millionaire in 15 minutes? Well, I sure did, but my sister didn't. Yes, I do. I help her with everything. Oh, yeah? Everything. So why do you pour every single one of my smoothies in the sink? Oh, looks like there's some family drama up in here. Well, I have a word to say well, to the camera. <laughs> hey, camera! Hey, 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 you know like what? That's Those that's smoothies that's are not that that's good. That's in fact, that's he, that's he, that's he copied that's the same ingredients from my dad's kitchen. Now I'm here with the buyer of the company. Oh, uh, what is your name? Beyonce. Beyonce, and who are you related to? Beyonce, but I'm, I, I have more money. <laughs> I'm a talent manager. I invest in okay, many okay, companies. Okay, have you ever heard of the fish and uh, What made you think that you could trust in Shido's product? Uh, you see, I can tell because in this from a glimpse of it. Okay. That's why I'm so successful. Everybody's heard my name. Beyonce, check me out. Okay, Call okay. Me. Um, so you think this is actually good? 
Of course, try it for yourself. Okay, we are now about to try Shiloh's product. People, she's not joking. This is the best smoothie I ever tasted in my life. Yes, and I'm gonna have to take this back next time. No, 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 no. It's no, not for free. No, no, no. no. I have to think I make my money. Come on, I just, I just, let me take it. It's too good. As you can see, folks, this precious mango smoothie cannot be wasted. I cannot believe this. Shalom makes one lousy smoothie, and just like that, he's famous and rich. All my talent goes unnoticed. Ooh, someone looks jealous, I see. <laughs> Look who's talking with the lousy plumbing business. Hey, I'm working on it still. Besides, I got a new idea that doesn't involve Jerry. I'm thinking that me and you could go into business together, you know? <laughs> Do what? Trust me, it will beat Shiloh's business in no time. What? Now you need to add more flavors to your smoothie line. You need to do mango orange, mango banana, things like that. Mango is obviously the key thing, okay? So make sure you do your smoothies, make me move a lot, and I'll call you later. Gretchen, I told you, the magazine is a What's that? Get your peanut butter sandwiches! Yeah, right, Shiloh, we're your competitors! Eat it or beat it. Turn off those watery smoothies, get your peanut butter sandwiches! What is this, Sasa? Exactly what we said. Peanut butter sandwiches, Shiloh. I know what it is, but what are you trying to do? <laughs> Sabotage your business, of course. Mmm, I'm hungry. Did you say you were hungry, my good man? Well, why don't you taste Donna Shasha than me? Peanut butter sandwiches, right over there. Right up for a smoothie with colorful fruits, colorful cups, colorful straws, colorful business, colors. Colors? You don't need colors, you need protein like peanut butter. This is a hard decision. Ooh, but don't you want some nice, crusty, starchy, carby peanut butter sandwiches? No! Gooey. No, Jerry, do not mm. fall for it. You want this boring old orange? No, you don't, Jerry. You want some unhealthy food. Oh. I'm hungry! Tuesday, going to outer space on Wednesday, invent flying car on Thursday, color my hair on Friday, and call mom on Saturday. Is this another reminder I forgot? When did I write this? Was it when I was hungry? Hmm. Ooh, yummy cinnamon rolls. Closet? Should I continue on this quest and go to the closet and overall return these yummy cinnamon rolls to a stranger? Or should I keep it to myself? Come on, Tyler, we turn it back to the person. Come on, you know, right for you. Come on, she knows what you 
yourself. Ha, eat it delicious. now. You know what? Uh -huh. I want to keep it to myself. Beyond me. This isn't right. I should return it to its rightful owner. Time to continue the quest. Well, I'll just have one. Blanket. Now this is getting weird. Walt says remote, so I must get this remote. What? It has no note on this. Well, lucky for me, I get to keep this all by myself. Keep what to yourself? Oh, the stuff I found. Shiloh, are you telling me that this isn't yours? Yes. Well, if you found it, that means it isn't yours. Shiloh, that's not a nice thing to do. Why don't you call the Lost and Found Shelter and I'll try to figure out whose it is. I'm gonna call Lost and Found, but I need to watch over all this stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, let me watch over it. You know, I'm an adult, so you know, I, I can just keep a watch of this. I mean, just in case any irresponsible kid uses this for their own good. Excuse me? Thanks, Tom! Yeah, later. Oh, yeah! Can't believe that trick worked! <laughs> so, Jerry, you lost your eye again, huh? No, I can't find my eye anywhere. I've looked everywhere. Wow, what a shame, what a shame. Not even under your bed. Well, have you tried looking on your face? Uh, no, why would I do that? You haven't? No. Oh, I found it. Wow. Good job, Jerry. Oh, um, give me a little favor. Um, never call me again, please. Sasha, Sasha, Sasha. There are these things with notes on it, and I don't know who's it for. Listen, Shiloh, I do not have any time to deal with your Nancy Drew, Sherlock Holmes kind of business, all right? I have at least a thousand phone calls per day I need an answer to, so. I locked my eye again. So, Sherlock, what was that again? I'll tell you right now, Watson. Hey, it's Nancy to me. This is a mystery case? Yes, look in the notes. Closet, remote. What is this? Well, Tom was supposed to watch over it. You're trusting Tom with anything? Yeah, why not? <sighs> Come on, I know where to go. No, wait here. He's a bit, uh, shy, okay? Okay. on it, and I don't know who it belongs to. Hmm, Danny Mysterious. One of those was Simmons. Cinnamonies? Uh-huh. <gasps> Cinnamonies? Cinnamonies? Yes, I was missing some today. Lunchtime. Put them on a tray, inside the oven, baked for $2.99. I left, they were gone. Wow, that's interesting indeed. Yes, thank you. Goodbye. Bye, Sasha. Man, he was quite a fellow, wasn't he? Come on, we have to go look for the person who did this. You know, cute. Wait a minute. That. Wait, Shiloh, listen. My cinnamon buns were missing earlier today. Trixie lost her blanket. Jerry, if this is about your eyeball again, check your face. 
I lost the remote. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, this blanket's really cozy, especially after this weather. You know what my theory is, Shiloh? What? Someone came here for a job, uh -huh. and we rejected them. So that selfish person realized he couldn't earn any money with a job. Without a job, he couldn't. So you know what he did? He stole some notepads, and he put it on all the comforts of life he wanted. But he didn't take them. No, Shiloh, he didn't. Because if he was ever caught, he would want to be blamed for trying to take it. No! So he set up a face scavenger hunt for an innocent little person like you, Shiloh. So that, if he was ever caught, he would blame the innocent victim. And he pretended to help the person with the scavenger hunt so he could use all the stuff he wanted for free. Who would do such a thing, Shiloh? You, of course. What? Nobody could have come up with a theory in like five seconds. What? No, I'm just kind of smart. No, it was... Tom! Uh, yeah, it's me. What are you gonna do about it? Man, Tom, you didn't have to disappear like that. That was kind of rude. No. I mean, we weren't about to do anything to you. Yeah, people are so overdramatic these days. Agreed. High five! <laughs> Happy April Fool's Day! We are bringing you a brand new Honest Kids School Days, The Prank War. In this book, it's April Fool's Day, which usually means pranks and fun. But for Shiloh and his friends, they have the added twist of the watcher. He's back and he's got a score to settle. Will Cornerstone Middle School ever be the same again? This book is the perfect April Fool's Day book. To get the book, go to Amazon.com, type in Honest Kids School Days, Prank War, and there it is. <laughs> you can get it on Amazon and other select stores. <laughs> All right, guys, it's inside there, quick. All right, we're on our way. Yeet. Okay, we got a cold blue, we got a cold blue on the horizon. Do I have anyone in the line so we can help? And we need backup, come on! Is anyone here? Uh, Tom, who are you talking to? Oh, uh, this is just, uh, you know, for emergencies. Cold blue. Hey, Tom, honey, can you bring some donuts to the next book meeting? Okay, so what's the big deal? Like, what's the big emergency? What's the 411? What's the, what's everything? Okay. But you guys need to prepare yourselves, all right? All right. All right. Here it goes. Shows is not eating his vegetables. Hey, guys. <laughs> I can't look at it. Kid, aren't you a little too old not to be, like, complaining, like, to eat vegetables? Uh, maybe I could take the carrots, but the avocado and the tomatoes, ugh. He's been sitting in the same position for 40 days. He refuses. We try to coax him with toys and prizes and even letting him not be able to go to school. But he persists. He won't eat it. Uh, oh, come on, kid. This stuff ain't half bad. Trust me. A tomato, that's delicious. You're no help, Tom. Where's Jerry? No avocados. No avocados. No vegetables. Okay. Yeah, Shiloh, as I said, you know the rule. No eating the table until you eat those vegetables. Well, looks like another 40 days for me. Psst. Kid. Down here. I'm talking to you. You in the red hat. Me? Who else is in this room wearing a red hat? Ugh. You're the carrot on my plate. That's right, I am. I'm a very special carrot. And I am here to show you the past, present, and future of your decision to not eat vegetables. Come with me. First, we'll be going to the past. What? Where are we going? Here we are. You when you're younger. Don't worry, guys, I'm making your favorite salad. I don't want any vegetables. See, you're refusing to eat your vegetables. Oh, oh, well, I have backup, I have backup. I actually am making your favorite meals of all time because I'm the cool mom. Yay! Here is a bowl of vegetables for you. Ooh. And 
and Shiloh, I know you're gonna love this. A peanut butter and jelly sandwich with no vegetable whatsoever. Now hurry up and eat it. Mm. Mm. You know, I never trusted my mom of making me sandwiches right after that. Mommy, why do I have a kid in my sandwich? Oh honey, all I wanted you to do was just go big and strong. Look at your sister. Well, I think that's all. I think you can go now. Mm. Wait, wait. All done. That's fantastic, sweetie. Wow, now you can have some dessert. Well, I actually don't want dessert. I actually want to run a four mile race while complete a 500 meter swim and also lift weight for eight hours without any break. Oh, honey, that's fantastic. Ma'am, Sasha was always a show off. Ugh. She was always trying to be healthy. All right, let's go. Time to go to the present. What's the... Here we are, back in the present. Huh, why are we back in the present? So you can see what's going on that you don't even know about. I just don't understand. Why won't Shala eat his vegetables? I mean, I put a little uh, salt on it. You see right there? You see? Hmm? Watch them. I know. You have to sing it in a song. That's right, Jerry. You see, you have to make vegetables look enticing and fun for kids. Singing a song would definitely work. Okay, but Shala's a little bit too old for that kind of stuff. Oh, nonsense. Watch this. Eat your veggies. It's good for you. If you don't eat it, eat your shoe. Uh, that doesn't make sense. What do you mean it doesn't make sense? Everyone eats shoes all the time. That is a horrible song. But you can see the genuine concern that they all have for you. So be healthy and eat your veggies and fruits and just be overall happy. B, what are you eating? Oh, I found some yummy bears on the, um, on the floor. What? Don't eat that, that's dirty. Why? Are you not getting the point of this? <sighs> you know what? It's time to go into the future. Oh! Okay, my hip. Okay, no, come down, come down, come, come. Look, look, do you see this? Sit down. Uh, oh, come on me. Okay, look, do you see the chaos? <laughs> <laughs> This is your future of where you choose never ever to eat vegetables in your life and you ban them from the house when you're older. Cool. No, look. Look at where the fruits and veggies are now. They're homeless. They can't go anywhere now. And Sasha's joined them. <laughs> wait, Sasha? Sasha's joined them. Oh, wait, what? Yes, Sasha's gone with them because she stands in solidarity with them. Wait, so I never knew Sasha was a fruit. No. Listen, child, you have to understand the consequences of not eating your vegetables at that exact moment in the present. Uh, why? Because if you don't eat your vegetables then, you'll never eat it, right? Then future you would just not eat vegetables because past you didn't eat vegetables, which means that you become despiteful of vegetables and you just get rid of it in the future. You become president and then you become, get rid of it, and then it leave, they all leave the country, and then you, and you, get, you go so far that you get rid of pizza too. Wait, how? Well, you forget that tomatoes are fruit. And so you, you, you get rid of pizza. <gasps> Back to the present! I am gonna eat my vegetables because I don't wanna get rid of pizza in the future. That's right, but you're also gonna do it because it's healthy, right? I must eat all my vegetables. Mm, mm. Hey, did she eat all your vegetables? Yep. Oh, well, you can have dessert now. Yep, proud of you, man. Thanks. Well, 